katika Richi na Ashley tuko nao tayari hapa eh kwa na Jason mambo ni aje wase ndio najua wewe wewe sasa unajua eh wako cheki bana mko fine eh mko fresh karibuni sana asante asante mshukuru wiki siku imekuwaje hii wiki imekuwa poa eh juzi nilianguka kwa matope nikaenda job kweli sasa mbona ni dangani ni amke ni kuja hapa yani ni dangani asizi ni kweli by then nilianguka kwa matope is uh, it was very embarrassing oh. but i walked with confidence eh uh, unajua yesu anatoa madoa doa kuna hizi mashina za dunia kama matope uh-huh. i am washed by the blood amen <laughs> yesu anatoa madoa doa hiyo mzee ni one hit eh <laughs> ashli mambo kwa sana kwa sana my week imekuwa tu sawa imekuwa tu sawa i can't complain at all okay i'm thankful i'm thankful it's been a good week amen mm. that's nice so the fix is all about informing inspiring and entertaining you and the fix vibe is about informing you with what's happening in kenya in africa and around the world i would like to invite you to engage with us you know you can do that uh, on our social media platforms facebook instagram and twitter at the fix tv show to me hope tv kenya both on facebook and twitter hope tv underscore ke on ig if you want to sms us triple two three two is a platform and kama kuna wasi wako nje diaspora waambie hope media kenya.org is the online stream platform na facebook live pia tuko enda tuapo hope tv kenya facebook you can find us on facebook live you can share the link and guys can watch from wherever they are so we hit the stage man yep. baba amerudi nyumbani jana <laughs> na drama kibao lakini the mayhem that followed even the day before he arrived yeah hey it was just too much it was just too too much and i've had people justifying it justifying the things that happened the days before but nothing justifies the loss of lives and 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 the destruction of property yeah because people wake up every other day and they work hard for whatever they get and they do not deserve for it to be destroyed because of something that does not affect them personally mm-hmm. so that was my main that, that was just that was just what was agitating me the okay. destruction of property mm-hmm. my goodness the stoning of cars the hurting of people i've had crude stories of people who are thrown for stones were badly injured you know mm. uh, people who are shot dead yeah it's a loss of lives yeah. like do we warrant this every other time but i think one thing i should say is there are two sides of it mm. there's the side that the politicians they don't do much which is in their power to help uh alleviate this kind of um uh of reactions that their followers have and they also have the side that the police are also just they are stupid low now you yeah. know the things that they are doing is like utumishi kwa wote kweli like did we actually did, are you are you in power to do some of the things they are doing do they sit well with you when you go home at the end of the day yeah your your work is to protect people not to not to take their lives or maim uh, maim them at the end of the day so we need to we need to look for other ways of of also doing things yeah. we don't need to protest we don't need to be on the road and this whole thing about jkia honestly unajua jkia kusema kweli let's just say it jkia si kwa kila mtu we can't allow um let's just say Uh, we can't allow some things to happen in an international airport yeah. this this is not this is not a place where just kenyans arrive and 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 uh, do layovers or take off from we're talking about internationals we are hurting our own image as a country when you do some of these things yes you're waiting for your leader but you wait outside the airport you don't need to come into such a place where business is happening a lot of things happened mm-hmm. as a result of all these things them going on the road and delaying people in traffic flights yeah. are delayed that is money we are counting mm. at the end of the day it's not necessary i feel like they should have told their followers hey wait for us at a certain place we yeah. will come there yeah i mean it's it's such a it's such a sensitive uh, sensitive matter 
especially coming at a time when the country is really polarized and mm. divided. Eh? Yeah. And uh, depending on who you engage, if you ask a NASA supporter, they will just tell you how the police were cruel and, they and started evil, it. you know, and how they have the right to protest. And if you talk to the other side, they will, they will say how other people, um, you know, are there for bloodshed and all that, you know. So, Richie, what are your thoughts about... Uh, I think it's, it's high time we realized some things, as Paul tells us, are beneficial, are, permi are okay, some things are permissible, permissible but not right. beneficial, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It is within your democratic right and constitutional right to go receive your leader, to go to the streets and protest, to go make your, your voice heard outside and give your opinion and your support politically. Yeah. But how, how, how is it beneficial to this country? At this point mm. in time when we are, as you've said, polarized, very highly polarized, mm. the country is divided right down the middle, I think the last thing we need is these factions eh, yeah. going about their business in public. They are causing loss of property, which has already been too much yeah. so far in this year alone. We are already causing some deep-seated wounds to grow. You know, we are still furthering those deep-seated wounds and issues that we have with one another. I think we should embrace, I, at some point I even felt, yeah, guys should just be at home. Go to work, go about your business mm. normally, let Rao come back. Um, go home. He's also very tired. He's been away for 10 days. Those, those, <laughs> and then the flight Jet hours. Lag. You know, yeah. things like those. You know. Yeah. Let him relax. And then if you want to hold a rally, I think the government should now start designating certain areas yeah. outside the CBD mm. for such rallies. Mm. The way Matiangi had banned rallies within the CBD yeah. uh, some, some few weeks to the build up to the run-up of the elections, we should have rallies outside the CBD because the loss... Yeah, because the loss... The loss of lives yeah. and property. Unajua, hata mtu mwenye na protest, eh, akipige sabu ya mali anatoka. Imanji. <laughs> Ahende mwaka zujisi okimao for a rally. Ataka. Niko juu ata change mind mali hapo. Mm. Unajua, unafika, unafika gapo langata rodo, nwana, hai, hii kitu. Mbani. <laughs> yeah. Si lazima. By the time ufike huko hivyo ni lunch time, una, usha choka, unajua. Yeah. unajua. But anyway, th those, are, those are just short term and those are speculations. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, we need to move on from this political mm. rivalry. It is not inspiring anyone. Yeah. It is not helping anyone. Yeah. I was actually thinking to myself just the other day, what, what, what leadership mantra, what inspiration, what hope have our leaders given us in the recent past to inspire, to, 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 to inspire hope, to instill some courage in their leadership? Nothing. Mm. We're just being told, wale majamao ile ipande ingine, na wale watu wa uku, wale as in, yeah. it's just factions it's, yeah. and groups and div dividing people. But it's, there's nothing encouraging mm from our political leaders at the moment. Mm. What, what, do you guys, what do you guys think, uh, even as we wrap up this, uh, what, what role can young guys play, you know, um, uh, in terms of um, not concealing the wounds and the hearts and the issues that are happening, but like really, really facing and addressing the issues at hand? What, what role can young guys play uh, right now? I think for me, the biggest thing is we, we, we have a lot of power in terms of our use of social media, one, yeah. one. And there's a lot of um, fake news going around. There's a lot of uh, hate speech going around. There's a lot of, um, there are people who are just there to instigate feelings of, of hate and, 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 um, and polarization and, and stuff like that. And I feel like as young people, we have this power, we have the tools to spread out our message, but we need to also apply wisdom in the way we do. There are things you look at and you're like, is it a must I retweet that? Is it a must I spread that? This is small things that we do that will build up to a, a greater nation. Because most of our hate is not, is not spelled out physically as young people. Right now it's sp spread out online. So we need to be able to, to have yeah. wisdom when you are posting some of these things that you are posting and look at the bigger picture at the end of the day. Is it worth for me to lose friends because of some of the things I post, is it worth it for me to polarize the country more than it, it is right now because of my opinion or whatever I think is in my head? And you know there are people who post without thinking. Mm. You're not, you have the freedom to post, yes, but is it beneficial to the rest of the, com of the country? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I'd just summarize it as engaging in sober dialogue. Mm. Whether it's online, whether it's physically, yeah. just engage in sober dialogue. 
But I've also noticed there are very many people who are hiding behind keyboards. Yeah. There are many people, when mm. you meet with them physically, they cannot show those tribal nuances. They cannot utter them. They cannot even speak in the way they speak on online, on Facebook, or Twitter. And then you see many people just say, oh, I just shared what so and so what? said, you know. He was just echoing my sentiments. But the truth of the matter is we need to engage in sober dialogue, especially as young people, yeah. because yeah. it starts with us. Mm. From whatever it is you post online, from whatever it is you speak to one another about, because chances are you'll always meet, you'll always engage, you'll always interact. The world has become so small, so mm. we need to engage in sober dialogue. All right. Yeah. What do you think? Let us know what you think. You know, engage with us on Facebook, Instagram, and, uh, and Twitter at The Fix TV Show at Hope TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter at Hope TV underscore KE on IG. SMS is triple two three two. And uh, also Facebook Live, engage with us. And www.hopemediakenya.org is a platform for online stream. Let's take a break, you know. <laughs>